Hi guys, this is Carrie at Finance Skills. I wanted to show you a few tricks for using the bank register in QuickBooks Online. So the easiest way to get to the bank register, there's two different ways that I prefer. I usually, if I have bank feeds set up, then I'm usually gonna go in through transactions and bank transactions right there. And then I'm gonna go in to the view my register link in kind of the middle right hand side. We don't have any bank accounts linked in this particular um, demo version, so I'm going to show you the other way, which is right here using the gear settings icon and then go to the chart of accounts. Find your account, so we'll just do the operating bank account, and just go view register. So this is your check register. Um, it's going to just have everything, you know, all the balances. So basically you've got ways to sort. You can sort by date. That's the most typical. Usually you're going to want to have it go in descending order. So the newest at the top, um, but you can also search different things, which is what I'm going to show you first of all. So to begin with over here in settings, there are different um, columns that you can toggle on and off. You can also have many rows. A lot of times I like to have a lot of rows when I'm doing certain cleanup projects, but 50 is the standard and that's totally fine. You can at any time also export this to Excel, so it's going to export um, whatever criteria you've got. You can also print it. You can print it to a PDF if you want. So in some cases this is super handy if you use the filter feature which is what I'm going to show you next. So if you filter for example let's say anything from July 10 of 24 or July 15 of 24 to 7 oops 0731 24 you don't have to use the slashes you can if you want but as long as you've got kind of a valid date of the numbers you should be good you can also use that you know little calendar there um, and just apply that this is all the transactions that happened in the last couple of weeks so then you could export those to Excel or you could print those to um, PDF or print um, this filter you can filter down to like one that I use a lot is not reconciled. So anything that hasn't been reconciled to your bank statements, like for example, for the year, this is a very common one that I do um, to make sure that we're not, you know, keeping a lot of uncleared items on the bank register. So that's going to be this. And then a lot of times I will print it and send it to my client um, to ask for, you know, Kind of help clearing those out whether we need to adjust them out or whether we're waiting for something to still clear the bank so that's a really handy one that i use a lot another one that i use a lot is like the date you can do you know this year this month whatever um, and then what you can do so if you do this month apply and then you can sort it within within itself so within what you just searched for so those are all of july and then if you're wondering man did i duplicate something you can sort by your columns so you see like the ten dollar amount you can kind of make sure so i've used this a lot with cleanup projects when they had some duplications and then i just i kind of sort by amount and then I can kind of view which ones might be duplicated so that's kind of it's a little manual but it works really well you can also check your deposits and so on um, another couple things so you can just plain old search here so you can search for ten dollars um, and it will bring up anything both deposits and expenses that are in that amount so you can kind of double check yourself there this is the date this is um, reference number is here um, type is here so this is a two line entry um, so if you click on it that's the entire entry there um, you got the vendor you've got the account that it hits to you can change all of these if you need to if you're like oh no that wasn't supposed to be advanced case costs that was supposed to be client trust liability you can do that here you can add the memo um, you can add a class if you need to add a location um, anything like that you can totally change you can also change here's kind of the reconciled and cleared status so if you do have bank feeds on um, this little double box right here is going to be green on each of these transactions um, once they've cleared the bank um, then you've got the clear when you're in the middle of a reconciliation and it's been selected in the reconciliation that's going to be a C when it's reconciled it's an R and then you can toggle it back 
you know you don't usually want to mess with that status manually but it is there in case you ever need it so I'm gonna go ahead and clear that filter um, and then you can always you know page over if you need to um, a couple of other helpful things you've got a balance here that is going to work when you have your dates selected properly so if you have it if you're seeing you know in a right there um, it's because you have it sorted by something else so if you have it sorted by payee then it's not going to have a running balance right because it's not actually in the order that your bank is showing it so then you need to just sort it by date and then um, you'll be able to get in there if you need to edit something so say you found something and you really want to see the the details of it you can go into edit um, and here's your bank deposit you can change any of these fields we'll have some other tutorials about the details here um, just exit back out if you need to delete something you can obviously be very careful when deleting things if you delete something that has come over from bank feeds then it, it's possible it might just it should just hit back to bank feeds but if it's been you know connected with like say for example a customer payment you want to be really careful in that case I would go into edit and there's like a little um, kind of matching thing so you'd rather unmatch before you just delete it from the register so be very careful when you're deleting things from the register obviously cancel is going to cancel any of your changes and save it there as well so this is a really handy feature I I love sorting in the register I love working in the bank register because you can just see the detail really nicely um, and you get a lot of information here you also can pull it um, into another format to send it to you know possibly managers or staff um, to kind of ask questions because then you've got the detail all there with you. So hopefully this is helpful. Thank you.